Hey Jacob, uh, Tom Hoke says that we need a plan for downtown safety. Tom Hoke says we need a plan? What? Well, what's his plan? He doesn't say, he just says we need a plan. Well, it's a funny coincidence lately. We've actually got a plan here. I call it Jacob Fry's eight and a half block plan with 17 points. So, well, I guess why don't I just go through what I just drafted up here for you. First, we want to narrow the officer's beats. Second, empower tailored solutions. Third, increase the number of officers on the fourth. And this, by the way, has some sub-plans as well here. By increasing the number of officers on the fourth, we're able to diversify. We always talk about hiring more officers of color. Let's hire more officers of color. Reduces the reliance on Hennepin County Sheriff's. Right now, Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, they're actually coming in to help us out. They're not accountable to Minneapolis. Let's make sure that all of our officers on the streets are. We also need to improve uh, police community relations, and this we can make it happen. Number four here, focus downtown CRT officers more on street crimes and gang activities. Five, reduce truancy and divert truant youth into community programs. Six, convert vacant lots into green space. Seven, improve nighttime illumination. Eight, improve MPD protocols for evidence collection, especially for crimes involving guns. Nine, improve identification and tracking of illegally owned guns. Ten, develop a public-private network of security cameras. Note, this is for crime solving only, not for surveillance. Eleven, create municipal summer employment for at-risk youth. 12. Train and deploy street outreach workers to de-escalate conflicts. 13. Stagger bar clothes. We don't need a, a, a stampede onto the streets at 2 a.m. followed by a bunch of dead time. 14. Learn to value the night. 15. Incorporate additional valet zones, cab stands, and rideshare pickup areas outside bar clothes and nightclubs. Uh, 16. Steer urban improvements toward high crime areas, and finally, 17, restore funding and crime prevention specialists. So every single one of these items here has about a paragraph or two about it so we can explain what exactly we're doing, so it's not limited just to this. Not to mention, this is just our downtown crime and safety plan. We also have a police accountability plan, which you can reference on our website. We've got a safety plan in general, We've got an affordable housing plan, and we're soon to come out with a small local business plan as well. So, oh, I hope it adds up to Tom Hope's plan of no finger pointing, uh, but uh, hopefully we can eventually get there.